Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Now, today is the last day of my holidays. Um, I had to be cut short because one of the girls in my shop fell and broke her arm. So we've got no staff, so I need to go back. Um, but I'll get the time back, maybe in a couple of weeks. So that's fine. So today we're just going to go and clean the car. We're going to go for a trip up to Montrose, get a few bits of shopping in, just go for a walk, just um, the usual day off kind of stuff, folks. So let's go and see what we can find on today's little mini adventure. Look at that picture from Frankie. Who can you spot? There's me, there's Jack, and all the other granddad. All the kind of usual people from YouTube on there, folks. Excellent. Right, folks, I'm actually using at the minute the little gadget that we bought in IKEA. Uh, it's like a 50p keyring that puts your mobile phone on like a little stand and you can chat away like this 50 pence so i got a couple i think jai got two and rosie got one so uh yeah perfect so we can use this in the car in your house uh just keep it in your pocket for any emergencies so we're down here in montrose um i'll just flick you around so you can see you know just sitting here at the bamsey car park and um quite a few ships in today actually very calm so we're going to go for a stroll and see if we can see any uh, seals or dolphins so what do you think the verdict's going to be, folks? <coughs> there he is. Bumps tonight. It does sound like some of the ships are ready to move, folks. So maybe catch them along at the uh, little beach bit. So William Lamb sculpture, famous Montrose architect. There's a few of these sculptures lying about. Well, not lying about, but you know what I mean. I think we'll see two or three of them today. Um, but anyway, that's a seafarer, that one. So you've got these uh, arty kind of mesh wire decorations up here, folks, which are quite interesting to see all the way along the uh, dockside here. Right, all you people that aren't from Scotland, how would you pronounce that? Actually gives you a clue there, look. Free come, free come. So behind me there's Ferry Den, and this is one of the little uh, beaches just down where Bamsey's grave is. Um, yeah, it's a nice little place to walk. I like walking along here, see all the ships coming in and out. So we're going to have a wee wander along, cut back uh, past the golf course, the beach, back into town, and via Tesco's and home, get a Costa as well. So yeah, I'm just going to stroll up here, see if there's any de uh, deals. Dolphins or seals make an appearance. You yeah, know, this is the remains of the old uh, pier. Um, what's left of it? And it used to join onto the one at Ferry Den, which I think is either there or down there. Right, there's the ferry boat going out, folks, not the ferry boat, the tugboat. So it means a big ship is imminent, coming in the way, I would think, rather than going out. Excuse the dark conditions today, it's uh, very gloomy. I'm cold again today. This will be the forecast for the next week, unfortunately. And yes, here we go, stepping over a bit of history here. On the pier, the old pier. It's still standing. Well, not standing, but the remains are still here. Look. There it goes. The pilot boat. What will it bring back? Big or small, nobody knows. Let's put the beach behind me here. This, for some reason, gets a lot of surfers because you tend to get the, the odd bit of wave that come on, not bit of one wave, several waves will come in on this little kind of cross river bit here. The sea and the river. Oh, it's a big ship. Here comes a big ship. Just spotted it. It's going out, folks. It's going out. I'll come back to the surfing in a minute. Yeah, the big waves over there is where the surfers go. Let's switch to big ship. There it goes, folks. It's a big 
the big one, one of the oil tankers. It's uh, usually based here in Montrose. We'll get that again when it goes past. Doesn't miss. Over there. That's big light. Oh no, it's going to hit the lighthouse. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Doink. Aha, optical illusion. So there it goes, folks. There it goes. Out past the lighthouse, off to. Scandinavia somewhere, I take it. Oh, two crows fighting. Right, let's go and check out the uh, the wee mini surfers beach here. Bondi Beach. Montrose is Bondi Beach. So I've tried to use the wide angle lens a bit more today, folks, because it's duller conditions. Sometimes in duller conditions, you don't see the annoying bit in the corner. So uh, I've had a few wide-angle shots today, so hopefully you'll not notice the, the horrible bit uh, in the corner. So yeah, this is the little surfy beach here. No good today because it's so cold. Still got shorts on though, as you can see, shorts. Um, it's still the shorts, it's April, so it's shorts. That's shorts weather now through until October. But sadly, no dolphins so far. We continue our walk, heading towards the uh, splash. Is it called Splash Zone Splash Park? Up here at the pavilion. Now I'm thinking about getting one of these uh, gimbal things that steadies your camera. I don't know whether they're worth the money or not, folks. I wish my videos are a bit jittery sometimes, but uh, maybe that's a purchase for the January sales if there's still such a thing. There's that ship, folks, that was uh, passing us a wee while ago, going up to Skargen. Miles right now in the water. Right, here's the stairway of doom, folks. Go down at your peril when the waves are coming in. Go down as far as we can. There's the wet zone, so we'll stand about here. See where this one hits. This looks like a big one. Now we're on the Peruvian death path, folks. That's Montrose Beach there. The tide's in, so you can't see a huge amount, but it's a beautiful beach. It goes all the way along. And St. Silas is over there. Borden. No, but it's boarding over the nose. No, I'll tell why. That's Montrose, St. Cyrus. And down to John's Haven, Good, and all that kind of area. Right, if you have a hungry folks in Montrose, come here to Rue Sleep. You get the best burgers. They're so nice. So I've cut back into the middle part of Montrose, all the big, massive parks are. Not parks, more like kind of gardens. Goes all the way down the middle of Montrose. Uh, very Victorian. A few fountains and statues lying about. Right down there's Lynx Park, home of the Mighty Mo, Montrose Football Club. There you go, just down there you can see it. There you go, the mighty Mo Lynx Park Stadium. And it's currently £15 to get in.
that's it folks that's my walk over with hope you enjoyed it i enjoyed it Ten thousand steps done since so finishing the week uh, cost of coffee and a sandwich then we head home over the car clean the car and uh, just chill for the rest of the day so that's it folks hopefully see you next week take care and uh remember to like the video and stay safe